What's up, what's up, my LA besties? Welcome back to another video. My name is Candy. If you're new here, thank you so very much for joining my channel. If you're not new here, thank you so very much for jumping back on to another one of my videos. I just want to say I appreciate you guys and all of the support that you give me each and every video that I do make. Okay, so first of all, I want to let you guys know I am videoing with my phone today. Um, I know you guys hear me talk about it all the time about my camera messing up. So this is a different video. So I did not want to take a chance on my camera. Um, did any kind of weird things. So I just went ahead and videoed with my phone. It has been a minute since I have. So I'm not real sure how close up I am to you guys or how far back I am to you guys because like I said, it's been a minute and um, I think the last time I actually did a video on my phone was probably over a year ago, other than the shorts that I make, which if you guys haven't checked those out, please go do so. All you got to do is go to my channel and click on shorts, and I'm just starting to learn how to do those, but I've done a few of them, and they're kind of fun. But anyways, other than that, I've, I have also vlogged a little bit with the phone, but that's it. I have not videoed in a good long time, so I apologize on how it looks because I can't tell until I go in to edit this video. But I just want to say, I hope you guys have had a fabulous past week. I have been away for a little bit because we took a vacation to Tennessee because my daughter has been on spring break and we decided to go visit Nashville and Gatlinburg. And both of the towns in Tennessee were very, very fun. And I cannot wait to go back and spend some more time in both Nashville and Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge also because that was a very cool looking little um, town. But anyway, so that's where I have been this past week and I am back now and I'm excited because I have a lot of videos coming up for you guys. So today's video is a little bit different than most of all of my videos that I've done. Matter of fact, never have done a video like this before ever. It's an emotional one kind of and um, I've had to stop and restart this video seven times. Okay, so this is this is it. Okay. This is the final video that I'm going to do and I'm just going to go with it. Okay. But it's for a good cause. So I guess before I get started on that, let me show you guys my handbag of the video, which is my Neon Noe in the monogram coated canvas with the caramel leather here and the strap. This strap I bought off of which is more of a top handle I bought off of Amazon. So I can't link that because it's been so long since I bought it. Actually, I bought it before I ever started YouTube. So anyways, but they are all over Amazon and they are all over Etsy. If you want to find a good braided top handle for your Neon Away bags that don't come with them because some of them do and some of them don't. So anyways, great bag. And yes, that is my bag of the video. Okay, we're going to move her over because she is not the topic of today's video. So today's video and topic is kidney cancer awareness. And if you guys do not already know, March is the month that represents kidney cancer awareness as well as the color orange. So that's why I had my nails, if you guys can see, turn my ring around, my nails painted orange at the beginning of March. And then I am also wearing a hoodie that also is in honor of this month as well. So I also bought a bracelet. Let me show you guys this up close. It's just Obviously, obviously, as you can see, it's orange and then it has the little ribbon down here and that represents kidney cancer awareness as well. And I put it on so that I can wear it for the rest of this month. So I'm in a collaboration with some other YouTubers who also wanted to honor one of my best friends, which is Amy from Amy Michelle Luxury, who is a survivor of kidney cancer. And the ones in collaboration with this video is Amy from Amy Michelle Luxury, who will tell her own personal story. Jean from Toach Jean and Sarah from Lux Lover Sarah and Erin from Handbag Housewife. So we are all collaborating today in honor of our friend Amy and also bringing awareness to kidney cancer. Now, I am not going to be on here to give you guys medical advice because I don't feel that that is my place considering I am not a doctor. However, I do have background knowledge in the medical field considering I did go to nursing school and was a nurse for many, many years. So I'm going to just touch on a few things about kidney cancer and bringing awareness to it. And one of the things is most often it is found through an accidental finding, whether that be you go in with back pain and they do an MRI 
and they see a lump or mass on your kidney or you go in with stomach pains and you end up having an appendectomy. And as the surgeons are doing their surgeries, they see a lump or mass on your kidney. It could indicate that you have kidney cancer. Those are accidental findings because, because you never went in with symptoms that were re related specifically to your kidneys. However, there are some signs that you can be aware of too that could show concern, such as things like blood in your urine, pain in your sides, typically underneath your ribs, and also a lump or swollen area around the kidneys on either side of your back. So if you have any of those symptoms that might concern you, you might would want to check with your doctor and, and you guys can do further testing. And the way that kidney cancer is diagnosed besides an accidental finding is through imaging, such as a CT scan, an MRI, and even an ultrasound because an ultrasound can reveal a mass or lump on, on your kidneys. So, so that's the other way that the doctor can find out if you have kidney cancer. A lot of times cancer can be suspected through blood tests. With kidney cancer, there are two blood tests that can show signs that are linked to kidney cancer. And one is a CBC and the other is, the, is a blood chemistry test. And so when you have those two blood tests done, if you have too many red blood cells, they will go on and and check further to see if it is related to kidney cancer. So a blood test does not diagnose cancer, but it does show signs that could be linked to cancer. So if you have any kind of reason to have a concern with your kidneys and you are showing any of these symptoms or just a concern in general, I suggest that you would see your doctor on that. The video today that I'm doing is honoring my friend who is a survivor of kidney cancer. And also I have a family member that is a kidney cancer survivor as well. I did get consent from my friend who is also on YouTube and one of the names that I mentioned on here that I can mention her name. I did not get that from my family member. So I will not say his or her name because that goes against their HIPAA rights. So Amy from Amy Michelle Luxury is a kidney survivor and she is one of my very best friends. And also I just wanna say, if you have had kidney cancer or any other kind of cancer, my heart goes out to you guys and you guys are warriors and you guys are heroes in my book. And Amy, you are a hero in my book. And had I known you when you had cancer, I would have been by your side and I would have been there when you had your surgery. And I would have been there when you got your results back to, and for them to tell you that you were cancer free. So anyways, back to what I was saying, Amy and I met from my YouTube channel. Um, she started emailing me about a year ago and the emails went from that to texts and the texts went to phone calls and we do talk every single day and sometimes for hours on end. So I'm so thankful to have Amy as a friend and I hate that she went through what she went through, but I'm so happy that whatever happened to her, because I'm not going to tell her story because that's her story to tell, happened because they were able to catch her cancer early through the accidental finding and she was able to survive it. And she's been cancer free for several years now. So we thought we would honor her today by doing a video over bringing awareness to it, as I just did a few minutes ago with some of the things that I did point out. Other than that, considering we are YouTubers that show handbags, we are all doing a collaboration with an orange handbag or a bag in the orange family, that is, either from our collection or one that we bought for this video. And in my case, one that I'm going to carry every single March in honor of my friend Amy and my family member that, like I said, I can't say it enough, is a survivor of kidney cancer. And that makes my heart so happy because not everybody gets like you guys. They don't. So I'm so thankful that these two lives were spared. And my heart goes out to anybody that faces any kind of cancer. It is obviously not something anybody wants. So again, my heart goes out to you guys if you have it or had it or know someone that does. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the handbag that I'm going to show you guys. So let me show you guys which bag I chose. And that is the Tally bag in papaya. I'm not sure what 
kind of color it's giving off on my phone because a lot of times your phone does not give off an, the accurate color of anything. I can promise you guys this bag is in the orange family if you can't tell. I'm sorry, but it is. It's the color papaya. I bought this bag from Coach and on the website it does say papaya. So papaya is in the orange family and I think this is a beautiful bag. In general, it is a bucket bag. Bucket bags are bags that I really like to carry anyways. And before I give any details on this bag, I'm going to do a 360 with it, okay? So here is the front. Here is the side. Here is the back. The other side. And the bottom. And the bottom does feature four feet. And the hardware is in a brass color. And I think the brass color looks very beautiful up against this orangish bag, okay? I, I think it just um, complements it very well. It did come with this strap along with a leather strap that matches the bag, but when I took it out and looked at it, I attached the strap to it and never took it off. So anyways, this strap is really pretty and I'll show you guys up close what it looks like. Let me take it off the bag first. Okay, so here is the strap up close. So you can see the really pretty design on it and you can see the really pretty brass hardware. It's not a shiny brass, it's a matte brass and I really like that as far as hardware goes. I think that it's probably my favorite color of like brass hardware, the matte look. Okay, so we have that and then, so this bag also features a magnetic closure right here and then you open it up and it also offers another way to open and close your bag which is a zipper right here at the top of the bag and I like that it gives you two options to keep all of your items secure. So once again, the zipper and then the magnetic closure. So I love that. I think it's super, super cute. I really appreciate that they put the feet on the bottom that, and that really helps take care of your bags when you set them down on something and you don't want them to get dirty or whatever. And so any bag that has feet on it, I love that. I love that on a bag. It does have the, a little coach bag tag right there. And then inside of it is the leather strap that I was telling you guys that it came with as well. And I like this strap. I mean, this is a really good, like nice, durable, sturdy strap. But I really kind of like is this one more because of the design and the colors. I think it just really like brings out that orange look to it. And I know you guys are probably thinking that's a little bit crazy for me to say considering I've talked about how much I do not care for the jacquard or guitar straps. Um, but with this one, I don't know. It's a little bit different. I like this one a lot. I think it's very, very, very pretty. And I think it complements the bag well. So I'm going to show you guys the inside of the bag now. And it has one big open compartment. The inside features a beautiful lining that matches the outside of the bag. And it's like a microfiber suede lining. I'm not real sure what Coach calls theirs, but, but it does feel like a Louis Vuitton interior that microfiber or suede. So it's something of that sort. But as you guys can see, it's very pretty and very nice and very well made. It also has a pocket that has a snap closure right there. And that's pretty cool when you have an extra pocket inside your bag to put things in it. And yeah, so that's what the inside looks like. And again, it's a bucket style bag, which is usually just a big open compartment. And I love bucket style bags. I don't know about you guys, but they're one of my favorite style of bags that I've just came to love over the years as I have gotten more and more into handbags. So yeah, so that is the main features of this bag. And I'm going to hook the strap on and show you guys what it looks like on. This is an adjustable strap, so you can wear it crossbody or on your shoulder. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so here is the bag on my shoulder. Sorry about this hoodie being like <laughs> extremely big, but I ordered it off of Amazon. You never know what size to order and how they're gonna come looking. So it's really big, but whatever. Okay, okay so I backed up a little bit because I was so close to the camera. So here it is 
crossbody. I really like most of my bags crossbody and at least have that option to if I can. And then here's what it looks like on your shoulder if you want to wear it like that. Of course, I would never wear it this long, but obviously it can be adjusted. So I would adjust it to fit at about right there. And then if you want to change out the straps and use the leather one, then they gave you a really nice strap as I showed you guys earlier. Hang on. To use as well. So here it is with the matching leather strap to the bag. And then here it is as a crossbody, the strap that matches the bag. So, so anyways, this is a super cute bag. I really love the style of it. It, it probably looks bigger than what it is in person, but all in all, it is a good everyday bag and the leather is very nice and soft and durable. And I can't say enough good things about this bag. So anyways, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I would appreciate that so very much. And then also, if you would not mind, please like, share, comment, and hit the bell so you can be notified of every single time I do upload a video. I have several videos coming up within the next few days and weeks of new bags and also with different videos that you guys have requested from me and some tags that I'm doing and some collabs I'm doing as well. And then also, if you do not follow me on Instagram, please go over there and do so. And I'll put that right here for all of you guys to see. And I'm going to leave you guys as I always do in every single video from day one with, I hope you have a great morning, day, evening or night, whatever the time of day it is that you're watching this. And for me, it is a good day and I will see you guys back soon with another video. Bye.